All right, let's 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 talk about the DJI Mic 2 transmitter really quick. You just can't do it. You can't enable 32-bit float if you just have the transmitter alone. So I bought this. I like DJI stuff. I've got the original DJI Mic combo kit with the transmitter and the two receivers. Um, I don't use it much, but I love all the features and accessories and it just works. It works via USB-C. It works with my iPhone, which still has lightning because it's old. Um, but anyways, I like DJI things, but this just came out. And again, this is the DJI mic two, and this is the transmitter. So this is a standalone kit that comes with a pouch. Uh, this is not the complete kit. So DJI does make a complete DJI mic two system, but I think that retails, I could be wrong, but I think that retails for around 350. Now, the good news is you can buy these things separately, the transmitters. So you could buy these transmitters separately and you don't need a receiver. The great news is the DJI Mic transmitter, the DJI Mic 2 transmitter has Bluetooth, so you can connect it to your iPhone. You can also connect it to a DJI Osmo Pocket 3, as well as the DJI Action 4. Now, I don't have either one of those cameras. Uh, I have the DJI Action 2, which is the really small cube one. Um, I don't have, like I said, the Action 4 or an Osmo Pocket 3. I had the original Osmo Pocket, but sold that. So anyway, here nor there. What I thought, what, the real reason I wanted to get the transmitter was because they have 32-bit float internal recording. So I figured, how cool is that? You could buy this for 99 bucks. You can get 32-bit float internal recording. Now, the main reason I'm making this video, after all that, uh, is to say that I was just a bit disappointed that you can't actually enable 32-bit float recording if you just have the transmitter. So my mind, and I looked up, I tried to do some research, but this the DJI Mic 2 just came out. In my mind, I thought that you'd be able to connect it to the Mimo app and be able to turn it on, or, be, or there are multiple buttons on here. So you've got power buttons, for instance. Let me just get my face out of the way so it'll focus. Actually, let's switch this up real quick. So you've got power buttons on here. Um, you've got a link button. You've got a power, uh, what do you call that? Link button. Come on, help me focus there, camera. Anyways, you got a bunch of buttons. That's all I'm saying. And I figured that maybe, just maybe, you might be able to do some sort of sequence, button press, hold combination, you know, hold down the button for a couple seconds or a combination of a couple buttons and enable 32-bit float recording. But I reached out to DJI support and they say, no, they say, they say that you have to have either an Osmo Pocket 3, a DJI Action 4, or the receiver, which like I said, in the original mic kit is sold, uh, you know, this is the receiver. So if you buy the DJI Mic 2 kit, you would need the receiver for the DJI Mic 2 kit to actually turn 32-bit float recording on. So there's no like file update, transfer file, turn 32-bit on. You just can't do it. You can't enable 32-bit float if you just have the transmitter alone. And so really that's the only reason I'm making this video is because uh, I just wasn't aware of that. And I think it... I just feel like people should know that you can't do that. And so minimally at this point, I would either need to buy an Action 4, uh, an Osmo Pocket 3, which again, the Osmo Pocket 3 is around five, 600 bucks, depending on which kit you get. Uh, and then the DJI mic system with the receiver is 219. And if you wanna go full, like full kit, like the first kit, but there are two transmitters and one receiver, the tra uh, charging case on the DJI mic 2, then you're looking at like 350. So. What I thought was gonna be a $99 32-bit float recorder is not really a $99 32-bit float recorder. Don't get me wrong, I've tested it, it sounds great. Um, you know, at 24-bit, it's fine if you need that, but really, I was really looking forward to 32-bit. So let me know in the comments if you think uh, I'm off <laughs> or if, uh, if I should have just assumed that, you know, <laughs> it wasn't gonna be possible that I needed one of those other devices. Um, or if you think that 32-bit float should be something that you can enable, uh, you know, through your phone, through the app, through some button, contra, combo, sequence, in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because uh, it's been a minute. And I appreciate your support. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.